We're asked to match each transformation matrix with a description of its effect on vectors. Because each matrix represents a linear transformation in R2, the first column of each matrix represents the transformation of the vector E sub 1, or the vector 1, 0, and the second column represents the transformation of the vector E sub 2, or the vector 0, 1. So let's go ahead and label the two columns. And now for the matrix P, the transformation of the vector E sub 1 is the vector 0, negative 1. So let's go ahead and graph the vector 0, negative 1, which is this vector here along the negative y-axis. Let's also highlight this so that we know it's the transformation vector. The second column is the vector negative one, zero. This is the transformation of the red vector, the vector E sub two. So let's go ahead and graph the vector negative one, zero, which is this red vector along the negative x-axis. This is the transformation of the vector E sub two. And then by studying these two transformed vectors, we want to be able to describe the effect on the original vectors of E sub one and E sub two. So by looking at our choices, notice how if we graph the line y equals negative x, which is a line with a vertical intercept of zero and a slope of negative one, this line here, the matrix has the effect of reflecting the vectors across the line y equals negative x. And therefore we select the answer b. And now let's take a look at the transformation matrix S. The first column is one half, one half, which is the transformation of the vector E sub one. So let's go ahead and graph the vector one half, one half in blue. The initial point would be at the origin. The terminal point would be at the point one half, one half, this point here. This is the transformation of the vector E sub one. Let's highlight this in yellow. The second column is also one half, one half, which is a transformation of the vector E sub two. So the transformation of the vector E sub two in red is the same vector, one half, one half, this vector here. So by studying the original vectors and the transformations, we want to describe the effect. You'll notice here, if we graph the line y equals x, which is a line with a vertical intercept of zero and a slope of one, both vectors are projected onto the line y equals x. And therefore we select C as our answer. And now let's take a look at matrix R. The first column of zero, negative one is a transformation of the vector one, zero, or the vector E sub one. So let's go ahead and graph the vector zero, negative one, which again is this vector here along the negative y-axis. This is the transformation of the vector E sub one. The second column is one, zero, which is a transformation of the red vector, the vector E sub two. And the vector one, zero is along the positive x-axis, this vector here. And now studying the transformations, we want to describe the effect on the vectors. We'll notice vector E sub one is rotated 90 degrees clockwise, and so is the vector E sub two. And therefore the effect is A rotates vectors clockwise by 90 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.